welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how we can use matrix calculations on the TI-36X Pro Scientific Calculator. To do this we'll use the second function key that looks like this located here as well as the math key with the second function matrix that looks like this located here. When we're getting started working with matrices what we have to do is press second and then the math key. That'll bring us to this menu here. This is our matrix menu. First thing we see is names, A, B, and C. When you're just getting started, that'll be blank, but this is where your matrices will be stored. Since we haven't stored any, that is blank right now. If we go to the right once, we get to this math menu, where we see determinant, transpose, inverse. These are all the functions we can use. And we go over one more time into edit, and this is where we enter our matrices. So let's get started and enter this matrix. You can highlight one, press enter, and come to this menu here. This is asking for the dimensions of our matrix. It says rows, highlighting one right now. This matrix is a two by two, so we'll go to the right once. So it's highlighting two, press enter. All right, and it's moved down to columns. Again, it's highlighting one. We'll go over it once, highlight the two again, press enter, and press enter a final time and it brings us to our blank matrix here. And this is where we enter our numbers. So, if this is our matrix, we enter two first, and then one, there we go. One, yep, and one. All right, you can see this matrix matches this matrix. When we're done, we quit with second mode, with the second function of quit, which brings us back to our starting menu or starting screen. We then go back into our matrix menu and see A now has a two by two matrix in it. That'll be this. Let's enter a B matrix as well. We'll use this one. So again, we go over to the edit screen, scroll down to two, or you can just press two on the keypad. And again, this is a two by two matrix. So we select two rows and two columns press enter, and then fill in our matrix. Since this one is a negative, we go negative first, enter our negative one like that, another negative one, and our two. And if you make a mistake, you can scroll around to change the numbers. But since we're entered all there, we can quit out of this, back to our starting screen, and back to our matrix menu. Again, we have our two by two matrix entered there. Now let's do some basic functions. We can add matrices by highlighting this. So we highlight our A matrix. If we wanna add our A matrix to our B matrix, press enter. You'll see it's A on the screen now. We'll just hit plus, go back to our matrix menu, and we wanna bring in our B matrix, so we can press two. There you see we have A plus B, that's our A matrix plus our B matrix. Press enter, and we get the result. Four, zero, zero, three. Yep, that works out for us. Now, when we go back to our matrix menu, if we scroll down to our fourth position, we see an A and S. That's our answer, or our last calculated matrix. So if we press enter there, and enter again, we see we bring that matrix up again. So that'll be the last result of any sort of calculation we do. All right, we can also multiply matrices in the same way. If we wanna multiply A by B, we'll highlight A, place it on the screen, press multiply, go to our matrix menu and press two, there we go, A times B, press enter, and there we go, there's our result. And we, if we check our answer now, it should be this one. Yep, there we go. So it stores our last calculated matrix. We can also find the determinant of our matrix if we go into our matrix menu and over to the math menu here. Like I said before, these are a number of functions we can run. So we see number one is determinant, so if we highlight that and press enter, 
we get this, DET, and then a blank. Go back to our matrix menu and select the matrix we want to find the determinant of. So for this example, we want to find matrix A determinant. Highlight it and press enter. And we see the determinant of matrix A is 1. All right, let's look at transposing a matrix. But for this example, let's enter a new matrix, one that's slightly more complicated. Let's do a two rows, three column matrix, just to make it interesting. So we'll scroll down to three or C matrix and select two rows and three columns. Enter. All right, and we'll fill in our matrix here. One, zero, negative one, zero, negative one, and one. All right, there's our matrix. And we can quit out of that. Back to matrix mode. And what we want to do here is find the transpose of this matrix. So to do that, first we select the matrix we want to transpose. So we'll highlight C, press enter. There's C on our screen. Go back to our matrix menu, scroll over, down to two, which is T transpose, press enter. We see we have a T after our C there now. This is highlighting or saying we want to find the transpose of matrix C. Press enter, and we see our C matrix, which once was two rows, three columns, has now become two columns and three rows, which is correctly transposed. We can also inverse a matrix. So if we want to say find the inverse of matrix A, we highlight A, place it on our screen, go back to our matrix menu in the math option, scroll down to inverse. Highlight that, press enter. We see a negative one after the A, indicating it's inversed. Press enter, and we see we get the inverse of our matrix A. If we go back to our matrix menu, we see we also have I2 and I3 if we scroll down in our names menu of Arna. What this is, is our identity matrix. So number five is I2, or the identity of a two by two matrix. What that is, is we place that on the screen, and we can see, yep, there's our identity matrix. One, zero, zero, one. Same thing happens for our I3 in the six memory slot, or the six matrix slot. There we go. Place it on the screen, and yep, there's our identity matrix. So these are great if we need to use them in some sort of calculation or something like that. And if we need to go back and edit our matrices, we can do that in our edit menu here. We can also bring them up. There we go, and we can go back and edit anything we need to here. When we're done working with our matrices and we want to clear these slots, like let's say we don't want to have anything stored in here, what we can do is go to our main menu and then press second and then the zero with the reset. That'll bring this reset menu up and that'll reset our calculator. That'll clear any sort of saved data, so be aware of that and return you to its normal mode. So we press enter, it'll say memory cleared. And now, if we go into matrix mode, we see there's nothing stored here. So, like I said, make sure you're done working with those before you do that. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck with those tests, everybody!